All right, I'm bored. So today I decided I'm gonna do, I'm gonna smoke me a uh, pork shoulder, make some pulled pork. Recipe's really easy. This is just a simple recipe I do for nothing special. I've got a couple special uh, dry rubs that I'll never tell you, <laughs> but so just for an effing easy one, it's easy, man. You only need two shits. You need some of this green shit here, and you need some of this red shit. And you put the green shit on to make the red shit stick. And then you can let it sit up to a day, whatever, in the fridge. Uh, I'm just going to let this sit for an hour or two out on the counter while I get me a good fire going. But, uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to show you what I do. So, you want to get some of the good fucking green shit on there. Make sure you get it on the fat. Don't need too much. Doesn't need to be sitting there drowning in it. But this is where you can get crazy. Put that fucking red shit on there. You really got to get it worked in real good and all the little cracks. There's some more red shit in there. Make sure you get both fucking sides. All that shit on there. It's good stuff. You can't use too much on your dry road. So like that, I kind of crapped out a red shit. That was a whole fucking bottle of red shit. So I may actually add some other shit to this. Ah, fuck it. No, that looks good. So anyway, we're gonna cook it like that, fat side up, smoke shit out of it. 200, 250, somewhere between there. I like to stay between 225, 250. And pork shoulders, no less than 12 hours, man. These guys, oh, I cook it in four hours, and it's fucking, and I don't give a shit what the fucking internal, an internal temp is. I've never, ever, ever measured the internal temperature of anything I cooked. It doesn't fucking matter. If you're worried about that, it hasn't cooked long enough. So briskets, 10, 12, 14 hours, no big deal. These sons of bitches, 12 hours minimum. Sometimes 18. And then if you still ain't sufficed with fucking how well it's doing, then you can wrap it up and throw it in the oven like at 200, 250. Finish it off that way. We use a little small master built electric smoker I just use it for a warming box. So I'll probably smoke shit out of this thing. It's nine o'clock in the morning. So it'll probably get eight, 10 hours of good smoke on it. And then it's gonna get pulled off, wrapped up, put in that master belt at about 225. And it's gonna stay there all night. And you won't see this thing again until tomorrow. Uh, these guys that say they can throw them on the grill in the morning. And oh yeah, we'll eat it for dinner. And you're fucking stupid. You don't fucking cook barbecue that way. Um, I'm from fucking Texas. We know what we're doing. We've done this long. We fucking invented this shit. So we invented everything. But barbecue, don't fuck with us. We know what we're doing. Minimum 12 fucking hours on the smoker. That's it. If you go any less, I'll personally come to your house, steal your beer, and kick your ass. Fuck bullshit. 12 fucking hours. You know how many of those I drank at that place? I swear to God, that place was fueled by this shit. This and Monster. So, being a little reminiscent, since I'm not working, kind of miss it. Fucking miss Craig's. It's bullshit, but whatever. So anyway, we're going to get a fire started. Got about half a fucking load of charcoalies. Using a uh, patented setup from... Uh, brother of mine c-dub 
Uh, this is how he does it. I'm out of lighter fluid, so I'm going to have to improvise with what I got. Anyway, we'll let that roast off for a while, and we'll come back and check on it later. Starting to smoke. No flames yet. Oh yeah, we're starting to get some flames now. I'm go ahead and dump it in. I'm going to start warming up the smoke. This old smoker we're using, it's an old News Bronzeville. Man, that's Texas made. I want to say I'm the third person to have this. I know it went through at least two people that used the shit out of this thing. I mean, and that's nothing. We scrape this out several times a year. I know the light sucks. Fucking sun's right all fucked up, but yeah, that's nothing. We scrape that out, clean it out, and it's still, man, that's what you call flavor right there, baby. You can't buy that. Alright, let's slam this baby on the grill. Typically do fat side up and then the thickest part towards the fire. Alright, we're gonna start out with about two chunks. Just about like that. That's what you want to see. That nice thin white coming out. Look at that. Two and a quarter. That's right what you want to see. Alright, it's been about eight hours. I know you want to look at that motherfucker, don't you? Yeah, well you ain't gonna fucking look at it. If you fucking look, you ain't cooking. Leave that fucking door closed. Ain't a damn thing you're gonna do to make it fucking cook any better by fucking looking at it. Don't fucking look at it. All right, so I mentioned earlier that we use a little master built electric smoker just kind of as a warming box. Let me show you what I do to get it set up. First, new set temp. I usually keep mine about 170, 175. Um, just let it sit, sit like that all night long. Uh, time, you can go up to like 20 hours or 22 hours on this. I just set it at 20 minutes uh, so it's heating and it'll cycle between what the actual temp inside is and how much time you have remaining so let this preheat for a little while and then we're gonna go out there and pull that shoulder off and stuff it in here to let it sit all night all right this is the last step before we eat this son of a bitch this off in there and that's where it's gonna live until tomorrow till I'm damn good and ready for it <laughs> 